Well, good morning, Bobby Lee here from Hurricane Creek Farms. Got a beautiful Wednesday morning, which as we've been complaining about in the last few videos, beautiful day in terms of there's not a cloud in the sky, there's not gonna be any rain, which we could use some of that. But in typical fashion, I think we start every video saying this, we've got a lot of stuff to do today. No surprise there. If y'all give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. Let's get some animals taken care of. Okay, so this will make for all the animals here at home taken care of. We'll try to get a head count on everybody. We're later than normal. Took the kids to school today. Did a couple of other errands in town. And so, um, yeah, they were up there in the barn lot an hour or so ago and I filtered back out here. But anyway, good chance um, to show you, yeah, just kind of the effects, some of the drought. Which of course, we got a lot of weeds in here too. But here on these hillsides and these ridges, grass is super short i'm probably not going to walk down there but you can see down there in the bottom um it's kind of true of all the bottom ground lower ground grass is, is pretty good that the moisture we got pretty consistently through the month of august has kind of more or less saved the pastures or at least rejuvenated them after we had the drought all midsummer long but anyway get these counted and head up the road you can probably see them all there there's these seven steers um it's interesting so this this pasture they're in it's kind of distinctly there used to be a fence row right there on the pine trees see right there over there it's like lush like you know it ain't waist deep pasture but it's probably mid thigh like just pure grass in here it's all kinds of weeds and and, and everything else but this is always where they want to be grazing so i don't know maybe that's a which there's a good diversity of grass over there but it's this grass is in clover over here. It's grass is clover and a bunch of weeds. So I don't know, maybe, I don't know if they just feel more comfortable over here because there are, there's the timber and the cover or maybe they really do prefer grazing and browsing more in this setting. But anyway, just a little side note tangent. But those are checked on. We just need to go check on the, the mama cows on the other end of the farm and We'll have the morning routine stuff done. So these 30 mama cows all looking good up here eating in the dust. But um, yeah, we're gonna ride down here. I don't know, they, they may have actually finished on our, on our water drainage structure down there. They're not here this morning, which is, um, yeah, usually they're, they're working early. So, and it's, heck, it's not even early anymore, it's 9.30. Um, I just have a feeling they either may be done or they may have had to go work on another job before they come back and finish this one. We'll find out. Well, as I suspected, I believe they are just simply done with this job. So this looks fantastic. Like you, literally, if you take a picture of just this right here and showed it to me this morning, I don't know that I would have necessarily known for a few seconds at least what I was looking at. Because yeah, this looks just a million times better. Yeah, you can see why we had to have a 40 feet of pipe. Um, it sounds like it's excessive but in reality that's what it takes to to get a proper crossing there um and then yeah i don't know you may have to go back and watch some of our older video or if i was really ambitious but when i edited this i could show you um just how bad it was washing and it was it was about to wash away right here i mean a heck a calf could have walked under the gate where it was uh so washed out underneath there walk over here well actually We'll probably go ahead and move those cows into this pasture. Um, probably not today, um, just because I went ahead and fed them up there one day this weekend or whatnot. Well, um, when they're wanting to eat, you know, and, and we can just call them, they'll follow us. We'll see. Yeah. All oh, that water should run normally. Um, and then we got where all that drains and there's a um, spring just up here to come down through there. So good deal, good deal. That looks a lot better. Um, we will need to probably get some wheat, maybe some wheat and some rye, something to scatter out on all this. Uh, 
won't do any good to spread it right now not until we get some rain in the forecast but that will be uh good just to get something established here and growing before winter comes in but yeah that looks fantastic they did an excellent job shouldn't be surprised it took them two days um and heck probably better part of a day there would just been them moving equipment around but um yeah it looks great so it's one project big project checked off the to-do list so got the first seven rolls hauled over at tim's place we can get them off there i guess we'll have uh the three more trips uh of course we can haul seven at a time there's 25 so we'll have do the math we, we won't have to make four full loads but we'll get these off here and then probably make one more and grab a sandwich for lunch and then uh haul two more just after lunch You can see it's a bit of a challenge getting them off when we haul them like that. This thing's made, you know, with the five cradles, haul five that dump off there very easily. But when we have these smaller rolls, like our baler makes, you can put seven on there if you really want to. And we, uh, I'm trying to think. There's there's 18 more left, and so probably can just put six on these next three I'm um, easy math there and then uh, make the unloading process a little easier okay so move the last five home there I guess we did a two loads of seven one of six and then the five, last five which it looks almost funny with, with just the, the five on there you can put six real easily without having to have one right there over the wheels or in between the wheels but now I'll show you what we're gonna do just need to unhook the baler so we can then get the forks in the tractor we'll stack it over here with um a little bit from our second cutting that we had the, the last of the second cutting but we got this little pile of um, red rock uh just kind of in the way because that's pretty much right where i want to stack those um so we're just gonna we'll put the bucket on first we'll spread the, that around and um you know we need a little gravel in here anyway and then uh We'll get those neatly put away. She's unhooked. Uh, let's go put the bucket on and spread some gravel. Five more rolls stacked, ready to be fed here. Well, probably in a couple of months. I'll say a couple of months. It's October 5th. I hope we're, I'm hoping it's Christmas or even after the first of the year before we start feeding hay. I don't know. Um, the grass is not doing much right now, and we do have a fair amount stockpiled. Um, fescue in the colder season grasses, especially if it ever decides to rain again, will probably. Uh, you know start start doing something as far as getting a small growth but um yeah just with what we got stockpiled right now we ought to be good for another 
I don't know. It's, it's hard to say, month, month and a half, um, maybe longer than that. But I was looking, because I was just kind of doing some figuring on how much hay we had and whatnot. And uh, last year, I think we fed about 300 rolls of hay. And that was, you know, the big rolls too, the, the five by sixes. Um, you know, bigger than, than what we're feeding or what we're able to make with our baler. And I don't know the exact ratio, you know, how many, you know, and I'm sure that's probably pretty easy to figure out, but I don't have that information for you. We started feeding the first of October last year. And we weren't feeding a lot that early, but we started feeding, we were feeding some really old ratty hay um, and they were eating it up. I mean, they were apparently just wandering around. We unhook that trailer, walk up here and take down the selector fence. But while I'm walking, have this discussion. Uh, so if we can hold off just until the 1st of December, if it is just two months from now, we'll probably be in pretty good shape. I guess I should tell you too. I think we got about 220, 230, somewhere in there. Maybe see if in 240 rolls. I, got, I have to look at my, my notepad. Um, but got a fair amount of hay put up. Got just a little more left. If I was guessing, probably not another 25 rolls left to roll. Maybe. Um, got two more farms, but just when what we just rolled, that farm only yielded about 40% of what it did second cutting. If, if the rest of the farms do that, yeah, it's probably going to be less than 30 rolls, but we'll see. Um, feel like that'll probably have some pretty good shape though. So that's the hay inventory update. Something else. Obviously we've got hay sitting outside now because the barn is full um I mean, we could squeeze maybe just a few more rolls in there if we wanted to um you know some people say you lose as much as 30 40 percent of your hay if you're storing it outside and on the ground um and that is probably true in, in you know some circumstances we shouldn't lose much on this at all i mean we're going to be feed we'll feed it first um just because it is going to be sitting outside it will be um you know the quality of it'll be will decline faster than, than what's in the barn of course uh, what's in the barn really should be shouldn't have much quality um, loss at all but um yeah so say we are feeding it say if, best case scenario we're not feeding hay until january means that hay's gonna sit there for three months before we start feeding it and of course it's gonna rain at some point you know and, and so it, it will suffer a little but we shouldn't lose much quality uh, more quantity of it even with it sitting right there on the ground so are you loading up I'm, I'm just i'm just moving the truck down at the trailer she's afraid she's gonna miss a trip somewhere important okay so now got the kiddos with me got them picked up this afternoon got a little project we've been planning for a while some trees we had ordered now unfortunately um well here as i set them down there were five here. You'll notice these two, uh, yeah. And then I had another clump of five. I had 10 all together. Archie, um, yeah, let's just say Archie got a, a pretty good, uh, yeah, he got a beating this morning after I caught him. Um, I didn't actually catch him in the act, but he chewed these up. So unfortunately we're down to three trees it looks like, and actually it might end up being two. That one's in a little bit of sad shape. We'll try to do our best with it. But maybe we'll have at least two that'll make it. Um, but yeah, a little disappointed in that, but got the kids to help me with it. Um, it's supposed to be really great for attracting wildlife, specifically deer. I'm gonna plant them right in here. You can see deer stand right over there, being a good spot for it. Um, you know, again, we'd had 10. I had strategic, this was kind of the primary spot. I was gonna plant three or four, and I had a couple other spots. So I was gonna plant like three in each place. So um, unfortunately, we don't get to do that, but. Got the kids to help me. Y'all gonna, hey, y'all gonna help me dig a hole? Dig a hole? For the, yeah, I wanna use the new one. All right. Oh, yeah, we got, got ourselves a new shovel. I wanna use the new one. Made in the USA. And both of them are mad. But they're gonna fight over getting to use a shovel. So, um, yeah, of course we, hey, quit. This is all. I'm gonna use it. Hey, y'all really are acting like jerks, and this is all gonna be on camera. So, but uh, give, give it to me. Nobody's gonna use it if y'all can't behave. Uh, 
I've broken the handle on the other shovel, um, which I need to just get another handle and have it fixed, but went ahead and bought a new one. So let's get a hole dug and get some trees planted. It's warm. All right, we went ahead and added a little water to that hole. Go ahead, put it down in there. All right, I'm gonna fill it back in. Mm -hmm. You fill it back in, I'm gonna... We're gonna... They didn't come with any grow tubes. We're gonna put a grow tube around this. And then uh, that should help it out. That more than anything, it's gonna protect it from wildlife. Um, just here for these next few months until it gets a little bigger. Um, then it also just helps them to grow a little faster too. There's another hole. Well, I think that was a crawdad hole there. Um, it's very springy down here. Um, actually, just right there, Sadie's planting a spring ditch, which um, we're, we're just. 15, 20 feet off of it and the ground's pretty dry over here just cause, yeah, that's the elements we're dealing with right now. But that does make it nice. We're using a bucket to just carry some water over here. And we'll be able to do that for these next few weeks until we get a get a good frost or good freeze and growing season's over, um, especially if it continues to be this dry. Planted one here, one right over there. One that was kinda iffy across the ditch. Then we even went ahead and planted the two that were, uh, yeah, he had pretty much well destroyed. There was no foliage left. I don't know, don't, don't have really any hopes for them, but like, there it is there, I don't know. It's in the ground. Doubt we get anything back out of it, but we'll, uh, like I said, we ordered some grow tubes. We'll get those in, get those on them, and uh, that'll be something fun to follow along for these next few months to even few years. You can see all the cows just across the fence, but the kids couldn't resist the temptation of wanting to come check out the deer stand while we're right here in the bottom. So I said, well, heck, why not? Yeah, go check it out. I don't think the door's broke. So, yeah, originally I thought we would plant a few trees probably out in here somewhere. Um, the deer like to come out here in this bottom, especially kind of more up at that end. So I, I decided to put this stand here in addition to the other one we got way over there that you probably can't see. Um, but yeah, Archie took care of that possibility. So we'll see, we'll see how those do if they do really well. Um, we'll probably go ahead and order some more. Um, but the reality is we ordered those like a year ago and they're just now coming in. So I don't know. Um, yeah, pretty disappointed. Um, puppies are gonna be puppies, I guess, but uh, he was mad. Um, he was outside. He's kind of a sissy. Um, he came down to the ball with me and Sadie, but he won't like come out to the pasture with us like she does. He always goes back to the house. I mean, again, he's just, like, he's determined he's a house dog and not a farm dog. And um, he was mad about being out by himself when in reality, Sadie and I were down at the barn. So anyway, that's, that's my rant on the puppy and why he should have been with us and content. And instead he went back to the house and decided to destroy the trees but yeah cows looking good we checked in this morning but hey come on we gotta go put some mineral and mineral, mineral feeder shut all the windows now that one won't really swing this way because those trees that have grown up there but the mineral feeders i noticed this morning is empty so i'll put a little mineral out yes go ahead and close them we are planning I'm planning to move them all the way back. But we'll probably do that this weekend over onto the neighbor's place. Let them graze over there. We we never have gotten around to clipping the weeds back over there like we wanted to. It's just been, it's been too busy. Um, but in this particular pasture, just right here, this part of the creek bottom, they don't have access to the creek. So there's really no water right here, right now when it's, when it's raining consistently. Um, there is the ditch that comes down through here and then comes across the corner, but all those ditches are dry right now, so. I would do it, I would do it. All right, show everybody how you know how to pull the string. All right, come on the other side. Pull the, pull the skinny strip. Just grab that whole strip. Now pull it. All right, there's another bag, so both of them get to open one. Okay. Camera open one. All right, watch out, Willis. Willis, that's yours. Kimber, Kimber, you pull that one off. pull the last one off. You pull that one off, Willis. Even though you're still holding it. 
Kimber actually pulled it, didn't she? Pull it. Now, I need to pull that back on her. Now pull. Now pull the string. Pull it. <laughs> All right, that's trash. That's trash, you want to get it up. Any of the rest of y'all watching and have kids, your kids don't ever fight over who's going to get to do something, do they, right? I mean, now nah, it's only my kids, I'm sure. But, yeah, been a productive day. Got the animals checked. Of course, it's morning like we do every day, whether we're filming or not, whether it's a, a normal work day for me or not. Hey, pick up this trash for me. Okay. Got that hay okay, moved home. Here, here. Here, wad all of it up and put it all in one what sack. What does wad put, all of it up mean? Just like you did. Now put it in this sack. Teach y'all how to... Now, 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 wad it up like it's a piece of trash and shove it down in that sack. Kimber, you hold it open for him while he puts it in there. See there? Kind of like a garbage bag. Okay. Right. So I've got, got the hay moved home. Got a few trees planted. Um, definitely less than what we'd originally planned hey buddy we don't run and yell around the animals i mean the cows obviously aren't too bothered by it because mainly because you do it all the time but uh yeah got some mineral put out done a few things like we're gonna head back up to the house maybe practice a little t-ball and softball for a few minutes before we get ready to cook some supper sure all right so um so as, I, as you can probably imagine it's gonna wrap it up for this one we Daddy. appreciate y'all watching. A Keep heart coming thing. back. That's not a heart. That's just a chunk of mineral. Oh. Um, you can tell they get to see veterinary stuff with no, me. No, um, I'm anytime we're yeah. field dressing okay. squirrels, doves, okay. whatever, wild game animals, we we talk about different organs. That was kind of heart shaped and generally the same color. But anyway, that's the end of the video. We're rambling. What did we say at the end of the videos? Eat beef and God bless. Eat beef and God bless. <laughs> Y'all heard it from them. Y'all have a good one.